why are you in this speaking industry? Why are you out there getting your stuff out there? We're like, what is the base of the reason why you decided to come into this type of world where you have to be vulnerable and every single day so that you can connect with your clients. They don't feel judged. You bring in new clients. They get to fill your heart. They know that you're not just all about money. And being an entrepreneur and a speaker, it's very easy to be scared and get in those modes where it's like, do you want to work with me? Do you want to work with me? Do you want to work with me? But it's about talking to people so people get to know you. So that they can see what their yes or no is. Because there's so many people shopping out there just going, oh my gosh, I just want to work with so-and-so. But you can turn somebody off. And this is a very expensive industry. This is why that's really good, though is first knowing why you are a speaker and what you're doing, level up and how much you're charging and understand this is a very expensive industry. The reason why is because if you are paying me, I want you to make more money. Even as your health coach, I want you to be aware of where you can cut expenses to where you can create more income. And you may just be working for somebody, but you may have a gem in there personally as you heal your body that your creativity starts happening. And that's what I love about the health and wellness industry. As a business coach, I want you to be on the hook so that you can go out there and make the money that you're worth. That all of a sudden what you thought was expensive, you're like, I can pay that, I can pay that Rhonda because that's, that's what it's all about is that she's asking me to level up. Now what you can expect though from yourself is to be able to, as pers a person that's being coached, is that you can expect that I'm going to confront you on things. Things that are going to make you feel uncomfortable, but they're not going to be disruptive. They're going to be like, ah, I got a download. Or it's going to be like, I just say something and it's like, oh my gosh, it's triggering for you. And then you go, I don't like that. And I don't think I'm going to be back. Or you go, oh, I don't like that, but I have to come back again. And we have, we're going to be together for a year or six months or uh, I have four sessions and we have to deal with this. I go, yeah. And it's going to be fun. And you're like, no, it's not. I don't like you. I don't like it. And you go, no, we, what, what you're stepping into when you bring that money towards somebody that's going to support you is that you want them to support you in moving forward. If you want to feel light and fluffy, it's somebody just playing your game. Because it can't be like that. It can't. It's so hard to change. That's why people say changing, no, nobody will change. Or it's so hard, oh, barely anybody will do it. But we want to hold the vision as a coach to be able to see your gems. And that's one of my favorite things that I do is that I see people's gems right away. I can remember that I used to get in trouble a lot in my within myself, but people used to not like me very much because I would love on them and they would really like me. And then I would see whatever their faults were. No, yeah, we're human. And I'd be like, oh, because I would expect them to be a certain way. I'd be judging. And I'd be like, oh, I can't believe they did that. I can't believe. And then I just wouldn't forgive them. And I'd go, oh my gosh, I just can't believe. I just don't even want them around or whatever. The other part is what I learned about having these gems of being able to see somebody who you may not be able to see yourself yet. But I go, oh my gosh. I lean in, I go, wow, I can hear their vocals. I can heal, hear what they're loving in life. I can see where they're in their way in their business. I can see where they're in the way of their chakra system. I can see, I can see. But now since I don't judge myself as much as I used to, oh, I was so hard, that I get to be lovely to you too. Because we first need to understand how that feels to be able to give it back or it's just confusing. It's like, did I do it right? Did I do it right? But you stop asking those questions when you start going through the journey yourself as a coach. So when you're giving money, you're expecting it to first be kind of easy because you want it to be like, so you get the trust and the understanding. We get to grow the relationship, but we can't just stay there. Then it's like, oh, here, wait. Okay, let me tell you something. And then I will say something and you go, oh, but you'll know when it affects you majorly when you're here in the brain and you're ready to fight me on it. But what if you're just loving on your passion, you know what, why you're doing what you're doing, why you paid your coach, and you just work in your heart, and you go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Maybe a little bit of ego, and somebody will say something to you, and then you go, oh, I'm so angry, and then you go, here, wait. 
All right, I understand. I understand. Okay, this is where I've been getting stuck. Okay, now remember, this is why I'm in the industry of what I do. Now, this unstuck space right here that we just did in coaching, and you being coached, you'll be like, that's where I get to grow and expand who I am. Wow, what I'm passionate about or what I'm doing in my business is powerfully going to change now because I have that shift that happened. Now what happens in the coaching is it starts getting light and fluffy again because you get to bring in that safe space and then you get to learn more about yourself and then it comes back in and it goes in the cycles based on your cycles to keep your income flowing. And then now, now you know why you're in this industry because you're ready to kick some butt and you go, oh my gosh, I've had so many things happen in my life. I want to keep on going and I want to help somebody change and transform their life. And like all of a sudden, every day you get connected. What are you doing every day so that you stay connected? I'd love to hear. Namaste. Love you. Appreciate you. Thank you.